Welcome back. So I want to present the workflow that I'm using in order to transfer three degenerative AI models within Katia. So this will be the case study. We see over here the reference image and that has been segmented and Rodin outputted the following model. Now I will confirm that this model will be fine. And I want to show you the process, how we can take this within Katia. So I see over here that this cable is not fully completely joined. So I could have go ahead and do a partial redo. Only for this section, we can also embed that over here with mirror. But in this case, I would leave it like this. But keep in mind that within Rodin, you can easily do some local reprocessing of only some areas, and that will make the overall model to look a lot closer to the reference. So we see over here, I didn't saw initially that the following cable should be connected over here, but uh, it will be more than sufficient. I want to show you how you can transfer this within Katia, within um, Digital Shape Editor, and how you can analyze, because in some cases, generative AI meshes will have many self intersections and other problems that will need to be adjusted. Now, in this case, since I will just generate this as um, a solid model, I'm not going to put any accent onto the texture. So I'm going to go directly over here and the STR file will be downloaded. So I'm going to hit over here, download. We're going to see that now Rodin will pack this as an STL and we're going to have that up and uh, running. As soon as this will be finished, we're going to have that model downloaded. So let's take a look over here. In the case of the STL, I'm going to leave this on the desktop. This will be called base. So I'm going to jump within Katia. I will go within shape, digital shape editor, and I will load this within. So I'm going to go within import. I know that this will be onto the desktop and uh, I'm going to type in over here base. So base STL, I'm going to hit open. We can also decide to scale this. Now, since this is from Rodin, if I will go with a scale factor of one, I had 1000 over here because last time I opened something from Blender. And if I will go with the information, we're going to see that in this case, this will only have 1.8 millimeters in height. So the same workflow applies over here. I will need to scale this by a thousand times. So I'm going to type in over here a thousand. You can also change this to meter. So it will be the exactly the same um, import within that case study. Now we have this at the proper dimension, even though now it's quite uh, large. So we see over here 1.8 uh, meters. So we can go ahead and we can scale this if you want to keep it at the true scale. But uh, we should search for that, let's say, size reference initially. But let's consider that this is the correct size. We can go ahead and have this scaled afterwards. And I'm going to go with the mesh cleaner. And let's take a look over here. We have some non-manifold edges, only five in this case. We're going to see them over here highlighted. I'm going to hit apply. Katia will go ahead and clear those. And um, there are no distinct, um, let's say, split in connected zones we only have a single mesh. So we don't have any floating elements over here. That means we can now go ahead and process this. So if I want to convert this to, to a solid body, I can use the workflow from quick surface reconstruction. And over here, I have the possibility to use automatic surface. Now I can specify over here a mean surface deviation from the model that will be created by Katia and uh, the reference over here. I can add, for example, 0 0.5, which uh, in this case will be more than sufficient. I can change over here the surface detail. Last time I used this, this was set to 30,000. I can also go for full internal tangency, but that will take additional more processing time. I can also check over here for regular streamlines within the output mesh. I'm just going to hit preview and I will leave those default settings in this case. Okay, so now this will go within process. I will now cut the video and I will output the final result for the automatic surface. And we're going to see how we can then convert that to a solid body that we can further work with. Okay, so 
After a while, we have the following message, computation limit. The specified target ratio cannot be achieved with these parameters. But um, let's take a look over here because actually it will be capable of creating that. We see over here the total mean de deviation in this case will be the following. So only 81.8%. After that, we're going to have a larger mean deviation. So we also have some maximum deviation even of um, almost 15 millimeters over here. But that's more than sufficient for this case study. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I have the initial base, which is the one that we imported. After that, we're going to have the automatic surface. And now we can go over here and uh, we can have this converted. So if I will just go to part design, I can go over here and I can use the close surface feature. I can select that. I can click OK. And now Katia will convert this into a solid body. So that means it will be the following. So it will have the same color as elements within part design. And I can go ahead and I can further work with this. Let's say, for example, that I want to do a cutout. I can enter over here. Let's say that I just want to do an example cutout over here. I can select that uh, pocket. I can put this to be, let's say, a larger value. I can also have this um, reversed. So as you can see, when I'm clicking over here, preview, it does take a little bit of time to have that computed. But as soon as I'm going to click OK, we're going to have that cutout done. And uh, now I can go ahead and I can also add additional dressing features. For example, I can add over here a fillet. Let's see, with a value of 2, it will be the following. Again, it will take a little bit of time to have that process, but Take a look over here at the following fillet. So if I'm going to increase this to 5, this will be the output. So this is how you can easily take a base mesh and have it converted within Katia, within solid, a solid um, body. And after that, you can easily work within part design. So I hope you enjoy this kind of content. You're going to find also a similar video over here on the left side. And I will also add a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.